Why is the NFL playing in Germany? And why are German fans kind of mesmerizing to watch? We love the sport. Yes, sir. <laughs> NFL fans, you know, we love football. The tickets for the Week 9 Chiefs vs Dolphins game in Frankfurt sold out in 15 minutes. This was back in June, when they went on sale. There were 1.4 million people in the queue. How did this even happen? It's not like they announced back in June that Taylor Swift would be at the games. So let's explain it all for you. I think we can break it down into four main reasons for this phenomenon that have caused over 500,000 German fans watching the NFL doubleheader on TV every Sunday with Germany being the NFL's biggest European market now. Yep, it's not London. Germany is NFL's biggest European market, but why? Throughout Western Germany are more than 300,000 Americans. American football has a rich history in Germany since American soldiers stationed in the country introduced the game to people. The US had a military presence in Germany mainly because of two big events, World War II and the Cold War. After World War II ended in 1945, the US was in charge of part of Germany, and American soldiers helped with things like rebuilding and keeping the area safe. During the Cold War, which happened in the late 1940s to the early 1990s, there was a lot of tension between the US and the Soviet Union. Germany was like this place of focus in the tension and having American soldiers in West Germany was like a warning to the Soviet Union not to try anything there. The US set up military bases in Germany like airfields and army camps to help with the defense in Europe. So in their free time, soldiers ended up introducing the game to people. Local kids began copying their playing style, leading to a growing interest in the sport. And if you go back even further, during both the world wars, many American football players actually joined the armed forces and even entire football teams from big eastern colleges served in the military. So that's the first thing, the American military presence in Germany definitely played a big part in this. But we also have to look at NFL Europe, because it is so crucial to understand why Germans love American football. NFL Europe used to be a football league in Europe that was like a minor league for the NFL, where young players could develop their skills. It all started in 1989 as the World League of American Football, with teams from North America and Europe. The NFL noticed that people in Europe were getting interested in American football, so they began playing exhibition games there. These games became quite popular, especially in London. And that got the NFL thinking about creating a football league in Europe. From 1991 to 2007, NFL Europe was up and running. In the beginning, they had teams in countries like the Netherlands, Spain, and UK. But most of the teams were in Germany by the time it ended up shutting down in 2007 due to it not being profitable. After the league closed down, fans and former members of the Frankfurt Galaxy started a new team called the Frankfurt Universe. And now there's a league in Europe called the European League of Football, ELF, which started in 2021. Yes, they're actually playing American football in Europe right now. So that's the second reason. NFL Europe got some sports fans accustomed to American football in Germany. And then in recent years, the NFL has been working hard to get more popular in different parts of the world. They've been playing some regular season games in places like London, Germany, and Mexico City. Just this year, they've played two games in London at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The NFL plans to keep playing multiple games in Europe every season. You may know that London has hosted the most international NFL games. They've also played five regular season games in Mexico City, and by the end of the NFL season, they'll have played three in Germany. These international games have helped the NFL get more fans worldwide, that's without a doubt. But last year, things got really interesting. In 2022, the NFL held its very first regular season game in Germany as part of the 2022 International Series. This game took place at the Allianz Arena, which is the home stadium of FC Bayern Munich. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers took on the Seattle Seahawks. Yes, Tom Brady was there. But the most important thing to talk about is that this game had a significant economic impact on the city of Munich, totaling $77.5 million. Out of this, around $35.5 million were directly spent boosting the local economy. So that's the third reason. These international games have without a doubt activated those NFL fans to spend their money on kind of once in a lifetime opportunities to see the NFL in their home country. But we do have to give credit to the NFL's marketing strategy. In January 2022, the NFL started something called the International Home Marketing Area Initiative. It's a plan to help NFL teams become more popular in different countries. This way they can build their fan base worldwide and make more people like American football. So in 2022, this initiative gave 19 NFL teams special access to certain places in different countries for things like marketing, in-person events to connect with fans, merch sales, all that stuff. Basically, the NFL matched specific teams with certain foreign markets saying, here's some resources, go get popular in those countries. They've since increased the number of countries and allow teams to market themselves based on the team's proposal and how well these teams market themselves domestically in the US. So for example, the Chiefs are matched with Austria, Germany, Mexico, and Switzerland. The Dolphins are matched with the UK, Spain, and Brazil. The goal is to connect these teams with fans all over the world and sort of get international fans more educated about the game and I guess have affinity towards these teams. So then we get to now. 
Some surveys have suggested that American football is Germany's second most popular sport. We got here because of all this history and the events that have taken place. Now I don't know how accurate that specific survey is, but you can kind of believe it with the Chiefs vs Dolphins game having 1.4 million people in the queue and selling out within 15 minutes of releasing. So it is now without a doubt that Germany is on the NFL map. It's just too good of an opportunity for them to pass up. But what about London? Will we ever see an NFL team there? Check it out right here. 